Atlanta. Top eight tonight. The first match is going to be a winner's semifinal one. Uh, top side of the bracket. And this one's going to be Tempest versus Mike and Ike, I believe. Yes, it is. Tempest NYC versus Mike and Ike. This will be winner's semifinal. Welcome to the top eight, everybody. Believe in victory. So uh, one thing that I've been advised to mention to you guys is that uh, we're setting up for this, and uh, it's not final, so forgive us if we mess up anything, but it, it should be it should be finalized very soon. Uh, so for next week's tournament, uh, for all you guys that are here and entered, uh, since it'll be the Zoe patch, and Zoe will be here as a character, uh, we'll be giving away a special Zoe artwork to the winner of that tournament next week. The highest playing Zoe? I thought we were just giving it to the winner. Okay, fine. So we're giving it to the highest. I, I lied to you guys. We're giving it away to the highest placing Zooey player at the tournament, okay? And that means you got to play Zoe. You can't cheat and do your whole, I'm going to pick something and then I'm going to switch so I place higher, okay? You got to actually play Zoe, all right? Now, if you, the highest placing Zoe player will receive a special artwork uh, from Richard Sumono, and you guys might know him. He's a really popular artist. He's all about the anime art and the fighting game characters. He's especially well known amongst the FGC guys. So, uh, yeah, that's what the winner will receive alongside the standard prize pool. And uh, we hope that you guys will like it. And we'll be giving more information about that very soon. Anyway, as we talked about all of that, Mike and I took the first round against Tempest. Good job, Mike. Forgive me for not talking about it. The Charlotta uppercut. You know, Orca, I used to really hate that move, the Charlotta uppercut. But now I found that uh, generally, if you understand that... Uh, uh, stand blocking the second part matters a lot. Generally, you can almost always get a crouching medium punish with pretty much every character. Once you know that, it's a, a little... Uh, yes, he also did do some of the emotes that we use here in the chat. You're correct, Ten of Clubs. Ooh, he didn't get a follow-up. I think he thought he had... He, man, that's the, the toughest feeling in this game is when you hit a combo and you don't... You think you have a special move, but you don't. And then you look up at the top of your light bar and you're like, oh, I see gray. And Tempest also saw grays. Haha, -ha, you tried to do your combo. Uh, yes, the Idol Master, we will show we will show what the artwork looks like as soon as it's done. Uh, or as soon as there's a preview version to show. That's that's not good. Don't do that against Tempest. He punishes those. Okay, nice uppercut. Do do that against Tempest. That was smart. No need to guess. Just uppercut. Damn. The jab was beautiful. Eat the super. Oh, you think she looks adorable, Space Kitten. Adorable, huh? She looks really adorable until she takes 60% of your life in one combo off of a command graph. And then you're like, that wasn't adorable. That was... The name, of, the name of her, spe her of her second super is Noble Execution. Okay, think about that for a second. She she makes you headless. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh man, little little Harbin girls and they're really big swords. They're very scary. That's a combo. He didn't even go for it. I think he could have gotten stand jab there. One two three. Follow up, Mike and Knight. This is winner semi, so it is still only two out of three. Ouch. Chipping away. You know, I, I mentioned this before, but people are not really showing, and I'm not saying that this is a, a necessary tactic against Tempest, right? But no one ever shows that they can spot dodge the, the core circle forward medium, which is the, that or that. And those moves are dodgeable. Like, you can actually spot dodge. You have to do a double spot dodge, but it works, and you end up being the one that gets plus frames. Battle two. Engage. You know, Sangi, I used to say that, but stand heavy is actually kind of nuts. That that move actually outranges a lot of long range pulls. She actually has pretty good range. One, two, three. Follow ups. Of course, we go for that hard knockdown off the EX. Demon Flip mix ups get back in the corner, my friend. Uppercuts are good, and Mike and I guess to play a little bit in this round, but we need we need some real good pressure, and we need it fast. And Tempest is not afraid. More pressure. Yeah, okay, this is gonna hurt. He's gotta do the whole thing, and then while he's doing it, he's gotta think of a good mix up to do because Charlotte is still gonna be mid screen. 
bounce back to me, my friend. Oh, that was not good. And now Mike and Ike is in a lot of trouble. EX, can we get close? I don't, I don't even think he can block uh, an uppercut anymore. I think it's gotten to that point. And yep, I think that Tempest also realized the same. And that is a closeout for Tempest. But Mike and Ike will be heading to the loser's bracket. It's not over for him just yet. And uh, we should have lots of great matches in this top eight very soon. Uh, we also have Real Ice versus Omni Sight. That should be another great one. It's going to be probably Real Ice's Zeta, I imagine, versus Omni as his Lancelot, Amazing Lancelot. We also have Griffey Bones as Charlotta versus Ed Gone Back coming all the way back. Good job to both of you. And we have Diaphone versus Kilo. So we have uh, Gron in top eight. We have Diaphone who plays like mad characters. Matera, Charlotta, uh, Lancelot, Zeta. Uh, and then we have uh, Catalina slash Jita, Mike and Ike. Although he played mostly Jita today. And Tempest, of course, playing Charlotta. So two Charlottas in top eight. Cool. Good job, Griffey Bones, by the way. Establishing yourself also as... A Charlotte Beast. Anyway, we're going to be setting up for the next one momentarily, guys. If you've been enjoying the matches, guys, and you're having fun, then please, please, I implore you to contribute to the Match Arena Crowd Fund where you guys have given, whoa, $308. Thank you. I definitely think that we have some people to thank. Uh, thank you to Villainy, who says, Rep Zeta, let's go Real Ice. All right, well, Villainy, you definitely are hooking it up for the homie Real Ice tonight. TKO Mutt. Thank you, TKO Mutt, for your 2554 repping your Aeons, he says. Thank you. Thank you, Audio Junkie, who donated early on. Also, Andreas, who says, hand over the Zooey DLC. I wish I could, bro. Just okay. Three more days. You're almost there. Nice and then last but not least, Burgalicious. Thank you, my friend. And uh, yeah, we're jumping into this next one. It's going to be Omni's Scythe. Up against Real Ice. Winner's semifinal. Good luck to both players. And guys, if you're enjoying the stream, there's one very important thing that you need to do for me, Lord Spooky. Subscribe. No, seriously. Subscribe to Team Spooky, guys. I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the great matches. There's some great info for you in the chat to make it easy for you. And uh, honestly, we could really use your support. We always need your support, especially during these trying COVID times. We're at 1,191 subs right now. Can we get to 1,200 tonight, guys? I know we can do it. Just need your support, everybody. Yeah, it's 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 haste to be honest. This matchup is like kind of fair uh, for her, but it still favors Lancelot. Still a good match for him. Nice. He was ready for that. You wanted to escape the corner, my friend? No, I've seen that before. He tried to get the sweet follow up, but we still get those jabs. It's a full combo. He didn't have a super to cash out to, unfortunately. He didn't really have too many special moves left there. Oh yeah, Apex Dragon. I I love this game. Zeta was one of the recent recipients of a good amount of buffs in patch 1.21, and Ross has been putting them to full use in this series. That being said, Omni and his Lancelot, consistent top placer here at Battle Dragon. They both are consistent top places at this point. Nice, great confirmation. Light, light, sweet. And yeah, little creepy sleepy. This is a new stage. The stage was introduced when Soros was added. It's also a story mode stage. Jump heavy. Whoa, beautiful mix up. How do I block? Someone please. How do I block a times two? That was actually disgusting. Jump uniques into heavy. Went for the low, but was too far for the three jabs. Counter, beautiful counter, real ice. Jump unique again, nice escape, Omni, okay then. No mix up allowed for you. Oh, he tried to punish, and instead real ice gets to punish. Dang, that was actually really good reactions by Omni. Empty low, beautiful. Damn, Omni had good reactions there, but it was not good enough for the punish, and real ice takes game number one. Believe in victory. Battle, Battle one. Alright, so that was that was pretty fast, but usually when the game goes fast, you want to be the one winning if you're the last slot player. You know, 30 second game means cool. I, I scraped them and I won really fast. When it's a fast game and you're the one losing, uh, that can be a little rough. That usually means that some adjustments are in order immediately. ASAP. 
right now. Quickly, nice breaks, but he needs a lot more because Real Ice, he's looking disgusting in this mid screen right now. That was godlike. One, two, three, into the knocks. Get off me. He tried to get the combo, but he was too far. One, two, three. I think he should have gone for Skybound Dart. Now he's still got a play and overhead. It was not a counter hit. Man, if that had a counter hit. That was a very good five ball. It was pretty much checkmate once Real Ice committed to the counter, I think. He was either going to have to deal with the five ball in some way or he was going to have to run right into it with one of the counter follow ups. Follow time. Okay, going for the soft knockdown. Hands all day. They have the same armor, by the way. Yo, that Smith is on point. Ooh, that anti air was on point. Okay, that good patience. Now Omni has a really good lead. Pretty much just had to keep mixing up until he gets something decent to land like that, and now he can just take his time. Just don't get hit by something huge. Real Ice looking for the jump unique. Empty low into the combo. The scaling's pretty hard, so I don't think that he'll cash out Super Sky Bondar here. He does not. The next one, he will cash it out. No! What just happened? Did it break? <laughs> no! Did it desync? Was it an online blow up? What just happened? Oh my god. Oh, they both got kicked out of the room? What in the world? <laughs> See, I can't even say anything about that because look, they both got kicked out. What the hell? <laughs> so it, it it was one oh for real ice and then in rounds uh let me think. In rounds, who had a round? I forgot already. Omni had a round, right? Omni had a round and Real Eyes was trying to come back. Is that what happened? I'm so lost right now. I don't even know what just happened. In the next episode. <laughs> He's just like, what the hell just happened? I'm like, what just happened? Did it break? I don't even know. Okay, I'm spectating. I didn't do anything. Did I, right? I didn't break it. Little Creepy Sleepy. It happens every now and then. Sometimes things just break. I don't even get it. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know. Alright, so I guess we're gonna run this back. What a, uh I'll leave it to the TOs to let me know what's happening. Oh yeah, I love this name. Anime sure is weird. It's from Robot Chicken. Michelle, no not Michelle. What's her name? What's the name of the girl from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Anywhere. It's not over yet. We have to replay it. I'm just waiting for for the homies to let me know how they're gonna rule it and all that stuff. But we do, even even if that counts as a game for Omni, we still have to finish it all off, so. Man, online, bro. You know, it was going so well, guys. We were having so much fun. And then, of course, online found a way to break everything, didn't it, guys? It always does. Everything was good, and then pew, pew. Let's just get everybody the hell out of here. What happened? Someone set us up the bomb. We get signal. Yeah, no, you're right. It was Sarah Michelle Geller, uh, TJBA. She's the one. She plays Sailor Moon in an episode of Robot Chicken, and she goes, anime sure is weird. Anyway. Okay. What you say? We get signal. All right, guys. So while we wait, uh, I'm just going to say, please, if you're enjoying the matches, uh, like I said, we're just getting a final ruling on everything. If you're enjoying the matches, guys, please uh, check out the Match Arena crowdfund. We do appreciate all the ridiculous amount of support that you guys have already given today. Uh, we've reached $339.84. Uh, thanks in part to you guys using these coupon codes. Thank you to everybody using the promos. And also thanks in large part to Villainy who gave 88 bucks and change. The homie's a Zeta lover, that's for sure. Well, this is a Zeta match with Real Ice. We got Twin Blade. Thank you, Twin Blade, for hooking it up. TKO Mutt, Audio Junkie, and Andreas. Well, 
Muzik, Muzik. I used to even love the remember the something awful video or whatever they made where it was just a, it was like a music video of just lots of fails to the song. Lots of typos and stuff like that. I, I love it. My favorite. Now we also have Zoe coming very soon, guys. In patch 1.30. I keep hearing people say, like, Spooky, have you seen the patch notes? Like the notes are out there or something? Are they? They're not out there, right? I mean, I've, I've even been Googling every day. 1.30 patch. But all I get is... All I get is, is the 1.21 patch news. Do, 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 do. Okay, do you think? Anyway, I got one for you guys. I'm actually mad curious how you guys feel about this. First, I gotta find the right info. No, oh, I broke it. Spooky. You're breaking everything again. Why are you breaking all your things? Okay, looks like we're ready to get back into it. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for the wait, everybody. Thank you, Sir Joe. Sir Joe KCB, who also contributes a lot to the Maturino. Thank you, Sir Joe KCB. We do appreciate you, homie. Thanks for your support. So I think we're almost ready to get this underway once again. Uh, so I think that we're awarding Omni the first round in this game number two, and then we're going to play it from there. I believe is what's happening, but I'll confirm that for you in just a second. Which is, is a shame because that second round was pretty. But then again, it wasn't like Rise did not have a chance to come back there. That corner actually was looking. I was mad. When the game shut off like that, I thought that somehow Rise had just like made the game explode and just like killed them like that fast for a second. That reminds me of, of <laughs> uh, something that Mike Ross once said. Lancelot versus Zeta. Mike Ross. I love Mike. Well, I also love both my homies here. Omni Sight and Raw Ice. So sorry for whatever the hell happened there that caused that to happen. Forgive us, guys. Forgive us, but we don't Believe control in the interwebs. Battle. We can't One. make the series of tubes do everything that it needs to do all the time. That was so weird. Anyway. Alright, so Omni will be awarded round number one because he did win the first round in the, the previous match. This match is being replayed, of course. Okay, and now we are we, we should be back to where we were, or this is the state that we're gonna recreate. The second round was a close round, but it's gonna be a wash and we're gonna start it over. Oh, the triple jump you. He just went for it. Extended combo. Man, we got off the jab. That ain't easy. Real ice. Imagine once the down down inputs are fixed. That was a god like anti air. Omni sight. And he got the full combo. Doubling up. One, two, three. Get your ass in the corner. That was a ridiculous side switch combo, guys. He took him all the way to mid screen and then brought him all the way back. Are you for real? Oh, I'm out of there with the turbulence. No, I must pressure you, Zeta. Real ice. What are you going to do? Counter. He just let it rip. Overhead, he got it. That's a super. Get stabbed. Mm, I need more power just to make sure that you die. Mm, oh, it's not enough? How about some more? Damn, it does so much life. All right, final round. Match two. I guess that was, was that payback for the, the, the almost comeback that he had? <laughs> A uh, Bell D, one of the best combos you can do in the entire game with almost any character, this is no lie, is counter hit, overhead, stand heavy, super skybound R. It's, uh, it's, it's, most characters, 5,000 or more damage. 
straight up, you're, you're doing 50%, at least. Some characters do more. Great counter again, real ice. He's really good with those. Jump uniques into the low. Damn. Sweeps. Jump unique again. It hit overhead, but he didn't get a combo. And actually, Omni still has a chance to play. Nice mix there. Bro, he was all over the screen just now. He was like, I want to keep playing. Pressure. More pressure. He didn't finish it. Jump unique. He, damn, his anti airs on the jump unique are godlike. One, two, three. Corner time. And Real Ice tries to jump away. Overhead, no go. And Real Ice, Real Ice gets to play now. Oh, good block. Real, he got the punish. Damn, that was a ridiculous situation. Real Ice. Turbulence. It worked. He can super skybound dart. Damn, Omni. What a comeback. That was so scary. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot how to talk during that. That was actually ridiculous. <laughs> All right, 1-1. One, one. Damn, that was a crazy match. <laughs> hey, man, that was the revenge. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? That was, that was ridiculous. All right, so Real Ice was really close to closing out the set 2-0, but Omni, Omni was like, let me show you something. By the way, I got to talk about this again. Isn't it amazing how their armor was definitely made by the same smith? The color tone is perfect. Everything about it just looks incredible. I think in another life, I want to be a blacksmith and just make cool-ass swords and armor. Sounds like a tiring job. Get off. Turbulence immediately. It's like, no, you, th you, th you thought you had momentum finally? I don't think so. That was a great crowd to meet you. Real Ice. Jump unique. Into the confirm. The Real Ice special. Unique, unique heavy. Super. Another unique, unique heavy. Just trying to get whatever he can get. The counter didn't work. Overhead. That's big. He can actually super sky bar. Out. I don't think it'll kill. Question mark? I think he's alive. Barely. Oh my god. He waited for it. And the anti-air again. It doesn't matter how godlike your jump unique hitbox is. My crouch heavy is better. Whoa. You might be fast, but my stand light is faster. Okay. Delayed delayed reflex for the confirm there. The jump heavy was a double hit. So much meat here. Omni gets the better of it. Damn, the block strings are OD, but a nice crouch medium to break up that fireball. And now Omni actually does not have too many specials. He has to wait for the power-ups, or for the cooldowns, I should say. Damn, the entire attempt was no go. Thank you, Jump Unique, for being so cheap. Thank you, Wall Jump, for also being cheap. Good luck blocking this. All right, but we'll push the full screen. Omni tried to chase with the turbulence. Real Ice with the block. Oh, he didn't confirm to a combo, though. Damn, and that, that was huge for Omni. He kind of escaped uh, some solid damage there. Overhead didn't work. What a confirm. Off the counter hit jab. Overhead, the armor, it worked. Zeta's got nothing. Maybe she can take a Rekka? Probably not. I don't even think she can take Rekka anymore. Fireball. Okay, that was a good check. Nice. Off the 6-6 six, six heavy. Jump unique. Oh, dang. He almost had something. But instead, Obby takes it. All right, Omni's sight. Sorry for that for that interruption, fellas. But Omni's sight in the end. We'll, we'll clutch it out and come back. That was still winner, so Real Ice does still have a chance to make it back on the loser's side, guys. So we'll see more of him, don't worry. And he'll, he'll definitely think about what he lost to just now and come back stronger. So Real Ice uh, will face the winner of Griffey Bones and Ed Gone Bad. And we'll also have uh, Mike and Ike facing off against the winner of Diaphone and Kilo.
Uh, thank you guys for all your support tonight. Please check out the Match Arena crowdfund if you're enjoying all the great matches, everybody. You guys have really been exceptional contributors once again this week. Uh, so far, we've reached $341 in change. Uh, there's still that promo code save NOBC 17 guys. Please give it a try. Throw it in there. Help us out. You can also check out all the sponsor quests here on the sidebar. You can buy products in the store. You can check out the YouTube and Click quests. And you can also donate directly. And thank you, of course, to all our donators. We do appreciate it, guys. Thank you to Villain, uh, Twin Blade, TKO Mud, Audio Junkie, and Andreas. Thank you very much for your donations, guys. We do appreciate it. Once again, one half of what you guys contributed goes to Henry Sen and Next Level. And the other half will go to the top three or top five players tonight. We're just setting up for the losers bracket matches right now, fellas. While we do that, uh, you know, thank you guys for real. Seriously, thanks for all the support. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, we're just getting the lobby remade and all that good stuff, fellas. In the meantime, one more look at the bracket while we wait. And if you've been enjoying the stream, guys, uh, there's one thing that you can really, really do to help us out and support us here on Team Spooky, and that's uh, please subscribe to us here if you can. Uh, you can always use your Twitch Prime to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And if you're not aware, if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually subscribe to any channel you want anywhere here on Twitch. Just link your Prime account to your Twitch account. You can use that bit.ly slash twitch sub link and then you can come back here and subscribe absolutely free cool all good all right so oh my bad yeah i know i misunderstood because i was too busy doing things but uh yeah we're gonna get started soon guys uh subscribers wise uh we thank you epith slayer thank you so much epith slayer i can't even see your name i'm sorry epith slayer thank you epith slayer Thank you for your subscription. I hope that you've been enjoying the matches tonight. We're at 1192 subscribers now. Thanks to your support, guys. And uh, coming up, we're going to have Griffey Bones very shortly up against the homie Ed Gone Bad. Good luck to both. This is Losers Top 8 Round 1. Hope that you guys have been enjoying it. Thank you, Carl. Carl GG. Thank you for your sub, my friend. Two Aeons of being a Team Spooky supporter. You've been all around and back. Tell me what it was like. Nick Huga. Thank you. Thank you, Huga, as well, for your subscription. Thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I hope that you guys have all been enjoying the stream tonight and having fun with the great matches. We have many more matches Leading left, guys, victory. so stick around. It's definitely nowhere near over. And up now, we have Griffey Bones as Charlotta versus Ed Gone Bad as Matera. Uh, honestly, I think that this, I think that this match is fair. I'm not gonna lie to you; it's pretty even. Sometimes Matera can just throw fireballs the whole match, and then sometimes, you know, Griffey Bones will will get close, and it will be really hard for Ed Gone Bad to do very much about it. Uh, Cry Scion, I did 1500, and we'll talk. <laughs> a, sh a Charlotte, what? Oh yeah. See. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, but it'll have to be a lot more than 12. 1,200 is a milestone that we've seen before, my friend. We need a new milestone first. <laughs> I might dress up as Charlotta. Maybe. Question mark. Thank you, Audio33. Thank you. Thanks for the resub, my friend. 20 Aeons. What's up, Manny? Welcome, bro. Anyway, right now, there's a lot of... Oh, that's good. Got, like, confirmed, too. All right, now Griffey Bones is kind of in control. He's still got to avoid this super of Matera because it will be a good way for Ed to get out of the corner. And Ed didn't even need it. That was nice. And a nice combo. Trying to get close. Okay, great neutral jump. Griffey Bones. And he took away Ed's momentum just like that. If Ed had gotten pushed back from that fireball, it, this might have been a totally different round. Hell yeah, dude, if you want to enter with us, oh, Manny, please jump in. Uh, here's all the links, by the way, to anybody that wants to enter the tournaments with us, not just the homies. Uh, Manny, uh, smash.gg slash NOBC Granblue versus for Granblue. We also have Street Fighter on Wednesdays, and uh, this upcoming Friday, we're going to have Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, I am pretty sure I could be a Harvey. That's why I like doing, like, Mega Man and stuff like that. 
Those characters are naturally short, right? So it works for me anyway. One, two, three. Egg gone bad. This is a huge round for him. Oh, that was beautiful. He tried to get the follow-up, but it didn't work for whatever reason. Either way, he's got like almost insurmountable lead right now for Griffin. That's a start. It's the regular Sky Bond Art though, so the damage is only okay and a great standing light had gone bad. All right. Anyway, it looked really good uh, in the first and the third round there, uh, but Griffey did have some opportunities to get close. We'll see how he adjusts in the next round. Ed, for his part, he kind of he kind of did all his stuff right. I love the song. Did did the, the lobby explode? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, it was the end of the match there, so I don't care. If the lobby exploded, we can make a new one. Okay, well, that was that was weird, but it looks like we get to keep playing, so. Charlotte versus Mitterra. Andreas, why is, why is Manchester dead on the ground? I don't know. That's what happens. That's what's going to happen to Grind after patch 1.30, guys. I called it. I think. Who knows? Close mediums being looked at closely. That's the only clue we have to what's going to happen in the patch. Close mediums being looked at closely. And if we look at close mediums closely, uh, haha, I made a funny. Uh, then the Catalina and the Gran ones seem to be the ones that should immediately be on the chopping block for being ridiculous. Uh, Lancelot also up there for ridiculous close mediums, but we won't go there yet, I guess. Maybe we should go there too. Damn, speaking of going there, Ed gone bad. An actual perfect. Yeah, Matera is awesome, letter grade. She's so incredible once she gets started. The toughest part is is when the opponent gets started on you as Matera. That's that's the life. Great throw. Oh, Griffey points off the clash. Give me my damage. Yes, sir. Okay, demon flip mix. When you late take the when you late take a grab versus Charlotta, you might as well have gotten knocked down because she's quick enough that she's always gonna get a real mix up from that. Nice. Great punish off the stand light, but he did not get a real combo. Cross up. No surprise that he didn't block because that definitely looked like it would line up. Wow! He anti the demon flip. That ain't easy. Good job. It gone back. Uppercut. Calm down, my friend. You're getting, you're getting a little too showy over there, Matero. Oh, that, I think that's good. No, she could block in time. And she got a punish. All right, Ed, gone back. Well played, Ed. And unfortunately, Griffey Bones, unfortunately, my friend, you will get seventh place tonight. Although props to you once again on your Charlotta, bro. I definitely see that you've been getting your grind on. That matchup really is hard, too. It's really about, like, sometimes you get her in the corner and then she just explodes, right? She just dies. But then sometimes... Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, uh, MB, about Charlotte. I think that Charlotte is quite strong. Speaking of Char speaking of Charlotte, we have NYC Tempest, who's been the champion of this event multiple weeks in a row, and looking very strong for this week. Fourth in a row. Okay, fourth in a row. Five in a row or four in a row? Yeah, four in a row. Okay. 
Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So we got Diaphone. Is he going to play Suras again? That would be nuts. You're nuts if you do this again, Diaphone. Nah. Zoe next week? Okay, cool. Hell yeah. He's good at learning those characters early. So it's going to be Diaphone versus Kilo. I actually don't know who Diaphone is going to play because Diaphone, like I said, he plays a lot of different characters. Uh, Kilo, I believe, showed us Gron earlier. Not saying that's the only character he has, but it is a character that he has. How did you guys even find the poll, by the way? <laughs> you guys are so good. Was it posted? Did the chatbot post it? Is that why you guys found it so easily? Anyway. I mean, we, we got a raffle, ra raffle. Just go random. Random one through five. Make them play off. I don't even know. I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> All right, next match coming up, guys. It should be another good one. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen, like I said. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. All right. So it is going to be Soros versus Grind. Damn, we got a Soros top 8. How about that, fellas? Who would have thought? Both the new characters top 8. Soros and Jita. We already know what Jita can do, though. So I want I want to see what Diafro can do. Oh, we got new block strings, huh? Okay. Mm. I like the short, short uppercut for the knockdown. Anti-air. Yes, sir. Beautiful combo. Diaphone. Oh, you think you're grind? You get the three shorts, huh? That's That ain't bad. Punish attempt, no go. And now, actually, Kilo has the corner. Got the hit. Damn, he even took time to power with the sword. Kilo. All right, then anti-air again. No counter hit, though. Battle two. Engage. Yeah, I think that with Suris, he's pretty new, so I don't think that we're going to see, like, the, the most optimal play for a little bit, probably. It reminds me of Basaraga a little bit. Damn, he's using those dodges really well, but Diaphone is still still kind of dealing with it. Cross up, beautiful. The EX ground pound there, of course. Uh, it is a hard knockdown. It's also a launcher in the corner. Nice patience. Straight to the super. That should kill. Ouch. That super is also extremely fast. Diaphone makes it 1-0. Let's go Soros. All right. So how will Kilo answer back? Believe in victory. Battle 1. Engage. <laughs> Plus frame boots like crazy. Man, the whole block string was disgusting from Kilo there. And Diaphone is already down like a quarter of his life. Counter hit off the boots. Anti-air. Ooh, that was a big boy combo. That hurts a lot. He could have gotten sweep actually instead of the jab, I think. Not that it matters. Boots. That one was safe. Not plus, though. Nice spot dodge. We're in. Diaphone. He actually he actually could have gone for Super Skype on dodge. I'm surprised that he didn't cash it out. Now he does. Jump unique. Gets nothing. Big boy combos. No, 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 no. He's out of there. That was that was smart by Kilo. So that, that Super Skybound dart, the one that Diaphone tried to do, when you make them block that second Sky, Super Skybound dart, when you make them block that, the follow-up is guaranteed. Uh, so Kilo kind of smelled that something like that was coming and just went for the jump to get away. Uh, but next time, that situation might get a little scary. We shall see. So much dodging. Upper. Dodge and upper? Is that the answer for Kilo? Nice jump. Eat that. You're definitely on this floor for a while, my friend. Okay, sweeps no go. But Kilo's still okay. That was a great spot dodge. Diaphone. Eat my boots. More boots. More. 
I'll keep doing these rush punches until you stop getting hit by them, my friend. Oof. Duh, bro, he's punching his chest. That chest is armored, by the way. How do you punch someone armored in the chest that hard and make them reel back like that? Superhuman powers. But, wow, he got the bounce. Are you serious, Gron? 40% for that? Nice match. Diaphone's had enough. He's like, chill, bro. Great cross up. And Diaphone has the mid screen. Now Kilo is back in there. Wow, they both dodge. Are you serious? They're madmen, I tell you. They're both crazy. Charging up that unique. Duffed. He actually has the super skybound. He might be thinking about the regular super right now, I imagine. The regular skybound would probably kill. Okay, activation. Hands off. No, he tried to escape. But grind with the godlike buttons, of course. All right, one, one, Diaphone versus Kilo. So we'll see what uh, Diaphone chooses to do. He might just keep running Soros because he's the type of guy that is not afraid. Okay, he did run it back. Okay. Make Ron's uppercut safe? Sure, why not? Let's make the game even crazier. He already has like the best anti and the best combo, so let's just make everything safe. Anyway. Pink Kron. Up against Soros. Both players are around the same rank actually right now. S5, double S5 versus double S4. This is definitely a matchup that would happen if they were playing ranked. Oh, we got Mini Set. Oh, we bait his uppercuts. Baiting uppercuts. Damn, that was his uppercut punish. Soros, you need some better mid screen damage, my god. Confirmed. Beautiful. His name is Bahamut. Oh, actually, he didn't even get the animation. Oh, can he combo? Can he combo with the counter? Hit? Beautiful. That was sick. That was like some SF5 V trigger activation stuff, huh? How about that? Battle two, engage. Duffed. Your chest. Mm. Your chest again. I don't care if you have armor. I'll keep punching until it breaks. Oh, eat this. Okay, kept them standing. Into the plus frames. Into more plus. Respect the plus, my friend. I'm plus until I don't want to be plus anymore. Or until I run out of yes, upper gets nothing. It's not even a real upper. It's just an upper kick type thing. It ain't a bad move. No invincibility though. It's just fast. Boots, man. Please, please don't get cornered. That's probably what he's thinking right now. Please don't, don't get me in the corner. Ouch, man. That does a lot of damage. All right then. Diaphone. Once he's in that mode, huh? Those, those rush. He did the whole kudo no ken on him. All right. Just like that, Diaphone takes it 2-0. Sorry, Kilo, my friend. Sorry, but thank you for showing us your dope-ass grind tonight. And uh, prop Man, so no no grinds made it past top eight, huh? How about that? We had two amazing grinds tonight. We had Kilo and we had that guy, Infinity, who was extremely strong. Welcome to tournaments, guys. What can I tell you? Oh, he also beat Infinity? Okay, ah, so he, he's used to that type of matchup, huh? You, you, you saw his monster, you. Oh, okay, and Diaphone is like one of the only guys that's still even trying to play Soros right now. <laughs> well, go figure. All right, well, good job, Diaphone, for defeating the two Grand Menaces tonight with Soros. I mean, now, now I can't even say anything. I got to give him his props because that's actually really impressive that he beat the two best Grand players in the tournament tonight. Anyway, thank you guys for donating $373, guys. We do appreciate your support. Uh, there are still some codes left in the Matcherino crowdfund. Uh, please try it out. If you have just a second, use that code SAVENOBC17, and you can contribute absolutely free to the top three players tonight, as well as support Next Level directly. You can also check out all the G Fuel sponsor quests here in the sidebar, the Twitter quest, the YouTube quest, the Click quest, and everything else, guys. And, of course, all of your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much, everyone. And, yeah, let's jump into this. So coming up, we got Losers Quarterfinal. 
This one's Good gonna be turn. real ice, and real ice's opponent. It's gonna be Ed gone bad. This should be a good one. You know, I it, as far as tier wise goes, I don't know who this matchup actually favors, but I bet that this match is kind of weird as the Zeta player, right? Because Zeta, she can rush down, right? She has a rush down strategy that works, but. I don't know if it's fast enough to rush down uh, good Matera consistently. In fact, we see Real Ice here opting more for a fireball game. He's trying to pierce through the arrows of it gone bad. Unique. Okay, that was good. Good air block, but still it gone bad. Kinda is making it back to the mid screen. Now he's got the mid screen back. Nice jump back. He was ready for that tactic. This this almost looks like these two I played before, which wouldn't surprise me because both these guys enter a lot of events. Hard knockdown. Based on the approach and how... Oh, that was extremely smart. Man, head gone bad. Great sequence there. Battle two. Engage. All right, round two. Too slow, my friend. Eat it. Nice chain reset. Another chain reset. There's a cancel. Man, he, that corner pressure was godlike, but Ed gone bad to all of it. No problem. I blocked those. Oh, they're both from ATL, says Nitro Noodles. That explains a lot, actually. Nice slot. Out of there. Oh, man. That, bro, they're both smart. I think that Ed gone bad tried to do dodge into anti air, maybe. Might have been what he wanted, but he still was able to block in time. Fireball. More. Oh, that's that's big damage. Let's go to the corner, my friend. Not close enough to the corner to get a follow up of that sequence, but we do get the air sky bound. Ouch. Now he has to beware of that super man. That makes him so deceptive. It does not look very scary until you understand that she can do jump unique into the low, or she can do double jump unique. One, two, three. Empty low off the jump. That's what I was talking about. See, so he can do double jump, or he can make it like a, a double, double overhead, I should say, by doing jump unique twice, or he can do jump unique nothing to get the low option. And with Matera, it's not like she has a real uppercut, so she doesn't even have a way to challenge that. She kind of has to guess. Her best way to challenge is crouch, crouch light when he goes for the empty low. Very dangerous way to challenge there. Definitely can get you killed or counter hit. Wow. The EX arrow was good enough to pierce. Damn. Wow. Real ice. All right. Damn. That whole round was madness. Round number two. Real ice took the first game. Game number two, excuse me. So far, uh, Real Ice has kind of been doing all the right stuff. I almost thought that Ed gone bad was going to take that first game by how good his zoning was, but... It seems that Real Ice is pretty good about not taking too much unnecessary damage in the long-range game, and that matters a lot against Matero. You don't want to take a lot of random fireballs for no reason. You kind of want to... Uh, Mr. Quotes, yes, so you can make the jump unique into a safe jump. You're talking about the jump hop. Uh, it's kind of like the, the Chun-Li jump down medium kick or whatever. Uh, anyway, lots of ways to safe jump it. The most popular ones are sweep, or the most popular one is off a of sweep. They come on the sweep, and then they do the jump unique at the end. Speaking of which, this is another setup he likes. It also is a safe jump, see? So he does the jump heavy there as a safe jump that time. And the mix-up there, quotes, is that he can do the jump unique again. He can do jump heavy straight into sweep. And if you try to stand up, you get hit by the sweep. And he has a couple other mix-ups that he can do there as well. He can do like empty throw. Anyway, Zeta, because she has the jump unique, she has a lot of jump angles that she can come at you with once she gets the safe jump too. So it makes the safe jump, it's like a real 50-50. Unlike with some other characters where the safe jump is more about preventing you from being able to uppercut. 
Anyway, Real Ice is looking really strong right now. Ed Combat has a small lead, but, you know, in this matchup, you need an insurmountable lead. You need, like, a huge lead. That's what matters a lot, because otherwise, this is what starts to happen. And Real Ice has the pressure. Jump unique into the empty low. He missed the extension, though. That's good. Wow, Ed Combat. Damn, he almost had the combo for that. That would have been so clutch. He's still trying to clutch it out. Ed Combat over it. He got it. Follow-up. Super. He didn't even need the super. All right, then. Good job. Ed gone back. Battle three. Engage. So his back is against the wall here. That being said, that's a good start. That's what you want. Mm, get decked by my heels. Bro, she has pointy ass heels, by the way. I just noticed that. If you ask someone with those heels, oh, you see, that's the revenge. That's the question you get. Mess up the combo again, but he turned it into a reset. Jump uniques all day into the jump heavy. Wow, got like confirmed. That was sick. Real ice. What a beast. That was beastly. All right, so real ice will advance, guys. He'll make it into the top four tonight. Uh, egg gone bad. Gets fifth today. Props, man. A little bit higher than before. Usually you get like around seventh place. So well played tonight. Getting getting close, man. You're almost there. You almost made it to the match. Arena Bucks tonight. Egg gone bad. But for real, man, I keep hope that you keep grinding with your Matero because you've been getting super good. Uh, and I know that you'll only get better from here. You're talking about Zeta? To be fair, quotes, Zeta also got buffs in the 1.21 patch. Hell yeah, keep grinding, Ed. Keep it up, man. Uh, buffs for Zeta in 1.21. Uh, close medium became plus frames. Uh, stand, what is it? Uh, forward, forward light uh, became faster. Uh, straight up spear and straight down spear got better hitbox. Crouch heavy got better hitbox. Uh, many, many things improved. Anyway, up next, guys, we're going to have Diaphone versus Mike and Nike. Before that, I want to thank you all for contributing greatly to the Match Arena Crowdfund tonight. We received $379. Can we get $400? I think we can do it, guys. Can we get $400 bucks for the homies tonight? That coupon code, of course, if you want to contribute for free. Uh, is save NLBC 17 guys to add 50 cents absolutely free to the prize pool you can also check out all the G Fuel sponsor quests here on the sidebar you can check out the Twitter quest and YouTube quest the click quests you can buy products in the store and you can also donate directly and every little bit that you give not only supports the players tonight but one half also goes to Golden Sen Henry Sen to support next level during the pandemic uh, no, Bung, Bung Barker, unfortunately, Fame is not here tonight, which makes me sad because I love seeing his Vasaraga play. But he might just be taking a break or whatever else. Hopefully we'll see more of him soon. In the meantime, we're going to have Diaphone, and Diaphone's opponent is going to be... Who are we missing? Mike and Ike. Where you at, Mike? Let's get it done, homie. Let's have an another beautiful match. There he is. Mike and Ike has arrived. So this is the other side of Lucy's quarter. Uh, if... If both players stick to what they've been doing all tournament long, then Diaphone is going to stick to Saurus. And Mike and Nike is probably going to play Cheetah. We'll see, though. All right, let's go. Saurus versus Cheetah. It is going to be Saurus versus Cheetah. So I want to see what Diaphone is going to do here. I actually think this match is kind of bad for Soros, but I also think that the grind match is kind of bad for Soros, and we saw how very good Diaphone was in those particular matchups. Uh, this could be a situation where Mike and Ike maybe does not have the necessary amount of experience against what Diaphone can do, and if that's the case, uh, this might be over pretty quickly. Uppercut, no go. And Diaphone immediately ready with the punish. Tries to turn it into a standing reset, but Mike and Ike with the neutral jump. Ducked. He tried to combo for that even. Reset. We'll take those. Mike and Ike. Eat this grab. The empty low mix into another grab. Very good. So much pressure. Mike and Ike looking great right now. Ducked. Watch your feet, my friend. And he got the follow up. Oh, that's a combo. I just learned something. So you can do the rush punch into the uppercut? I 
feel like I've seen something like that before, but that that was really good. Anyway, either way, Mike and I closed out the round. Battle two. He didn't finish it. He wanted to turn into a reset again. This time he does finish it. I I don't know the minus on that. I'm not sure that if Soros gets crouch medium there or not. Upper. I don't care about your armor tricks and your armor nonsense. He does have two stocks, but if he wants the Super Sky Bondar to do a lot of work here, oh, he messed up. Doesn't matter. He's going to go for heavy into super. Yes, sir. All he has to do is finish the super, and it definitely will kill. He got it. Hey, Tong Shadow, you can't say that when the homie Diaphone beat the two best grinds in the tournament, man. Like, that's how the matchups go. Like, sometimes it's tough, and you know, you gotta, you gotta grind. You gotta be, you gotta be godlike. Speaking of which, Mike and I played that really well. Once he had the corner each time, he got the big, the big boy damage, and that matters a lot. We'll see how Diaphone adjusts in the second game. Sure, MJ Cool. Just keep in mind that most people will consider Gron to be a stronger character than Jita. Speaking of which, Mike, Mike and Ike, amazing rush down right now. So much pressure. He's not afraid to rush down too because, you know, Soros does not really have a very good reversal uh, outside of the Skybound Dark. So because of that, you can see how Mike is, is really not afraid to just rush down until he sees that the Skybound Dark is available and that's when he'll have to bait a little more or fight a little safer. And yes, Adamantium is correct. It is exactly like Rock or Geese Howard's Deadly Rave. However, if you do the easy input for the Super, uh, then automatically you'll get the full version. You won't have to actually do the inputs. Finished it. No punish again. You know, if Diaphone was able to punish those, he would have been able to get at least a small combo to try to escape. That being said, it's still around. We still can play. Hands off. He's pressing those stand heavies like crazy. He's like, please, please press a button into my heavy. Please rush punch into my heavy. Do anything into my heavy so I can get a huge combo. Oh, my God. He can get heavy into super. He's going for it. He got it. He, has to, he doesn't even need to finish it. Never mind. Mike and Dyke. All right. Well played. That was like Jita 101. I love the, the simplicity and what he did there. It was really just, you know, do what I know. Don't do anything stupid. Don't get fancy. But land the big damage. All right. Well, sorry, Soros, but a uh, good job to Diaphone, who also says that he'll be back next week. Uh, possibly with Zoe. I hope to see it. And uh, props on your, your Soros also. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, Diaphone also ties for fifth place tonight, along with Ed Gone Bad. That was Matera slash Soros. Fifth place, guys. Seventh place was Griffey Bones as Charlotta and Kilo as Gran. And uh, now we're going on to the winner's final, guys. It's going to be Tempest and Tempest opponent's Omni's Scythe. Uh, so, we set up for that one, guys. Please, I implore you once again, check out that match. Arena. I'm going to do it until it sounds like a broken record. I'm sorry, everyone. But really, really, this is the best way that you can support both Next Level during the downtime of Corona and the players tonight. Check out the match, Arena. If you have a moment, throw in that code, save NLBC17. And uh, thank you, everyone. Seriously, thanks for all the support. If we can get to $400, that would be sick. I also want to see more Soros, but you know, that's how it goes. We're seeing Soros, Jita. We're seeing a lot of characters tonight, so. Very good character variety, I think, overall. One repeat character in top eight, it was Charlotta. We didn't even see the four Lancelots like we normally do, guys. <laughs> so we can't even complain at that point, man. All the homies played well, and they all showed what they could do with their characters. All right, guys, next one coming up, once again, is going to be Tempest. And this is the winner's final, so it's going to be three out of five set. And Omni's Sight. These two have fought quite a bit. Uh, and honestly, Tempest has kind of gotten the better of it for the most part. But Omni has had some really...
close sets with Tempest and some ones that really would come down to only one or two decisions. So this could go either way. Uh huh. Okay, got you. So we're just waiting for Omni. Okay, yeah, whatever. So uh, so we're waiting for Omni right now? Is that what we're doing still? Because of so... Okay, I got you. So we, we might have to wait for a second, guys. So since we're waiting for a moment, guys, there's one thing that I want to do real quick. Uh, just give me a moment. In the meantime, guys, just take a peek at the match, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Or, or if he comes in, just tell him to hang on a second and don't start without us. We reached $411.95, by the way, guys, on the match. You know, thank you guys for all the contributions. You guys really killed it. Uh, a big thank you to uh, Villainy once again. Uh, Nick Huga with the $40.50. Thank you. TKO Mud. Thank you, TKO Mud. Twin Blade and Audio Junkie. Thank you all, guys, for contributing so much money tonight for all the players and for Next Sub 1 Henry Sen. Uh, we do appreciate your support greatly, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. Give me just a minute. If I'm quiet, I promise you that I'll be right back. I just got to do this one thing while we get set up and we're, while we wait for the homie Omni to return. I love this song. It's so catchy. I can't help it. It's just the most beautiful. So guys, really quick while we wait for the homie Omni. Are we going to do loser semis or are we going to wait for Omni? That's okay. We got a moment either way. So guys, really quick while we set up for this next match, uh, I want to talk to you about something that's been sent uh, from our friends at Amazon Prime. Uh, thank you very much, Amazon Prime. As always, I do appreciate their support as always. Uh, anyway, so Amazon Prime has sent over a trailer for one of their latest shows, uh, and it's called Happiness Continues, and the show is actually about the Jonas Brothers. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Jonas Brothers or what they're all about, uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you this video from them, and you guys take a look, and this is for their newest show uh, that's going to be available very soon uh, on Amazon Prime. Uh, nope, never mind. I'll wait. I'll wait till I'll wait till we're done with this one. All right, guys. Actually, scratch that. We have the next match coming up, but then after that, I'll tell you about no, our friends at the Jonas Brothers. Gina this is gonna be the loser semis. Zeta. Loser semifinal coming up in just a minute. So in the loser semis, we have. Uh, real Ice versus Mike and Ike. Sorry about that, fellas. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. All right. So match number one of loser semis, guys. Uh, on the player one side, it's Mike and Ike as his Jita, and on the player two side, it's Real Ice as his Zeta. Uh, and this is this is like a this is like a fair matchup, I think. Uh, it might, I don't know. Actually, I think it's fair. It just might actually be like a five-five type of match. Uh, the main thing about it, of course, is that Real Ice uh, does not have. I talked about the slot. He doesn't have a real reversal to deal with the Jita mix. Versus Jita has the great uppercut available to her, so that would definitely change up the options. Is the green girl involved with Gran? So actually, Jita is the main character 
uh, if you choose to be a girl in Grand Blue Fantasy. So you can be Gran if you're a guy, or you can be Jita if you're a girl. And actually, Jita's quite powerful. Uh, in fact, uh, she could be considered more powerful than Gran even. So watch out. If you thought Gran was crazy, welcome to her. Damn, he didn't link anything. Whoa, that was close. The dodge almost almost kind of ruined Real Ice's plan there, but either way, the cross-up on return was good. Nice low. 3-4, he got the corner, he can kill. Looking for it, he got it. Got to do a few of the hits. He might have to do the whole thing, actually. The scaling's hitting him pretty hard. Dang, he did have to do almost the whole thing. Three, engage. Uh, one round apiece. Mike and Ike, this this might be the tournament for him, man. He's been having some real good clutch, and his, his 101 has been working perfectly, man. He's been keeping it real basic. Jump unique into the heavy. He didn't get a combo for it. Nice. Hands off. Whoa. Mike and Ike with a small... Ooh, that lead almost evaporated on the spot. Walk up throw. Into that late crouch medium. She was reeling her arm back. One, two, three, four. He can actually get a super. He goes for the EX. He's going to go for... Wow, empty low. That's good. He got it. Mike and Ike. All right, then. Are there any robbery characters? Asked Little Creepy Sleepy. Honestly, this whole game is kind of robbery. <laughs> That's the game. Everything is great until you take 60% in the corner. Empty low. Yep, like see right now. Real Ice just got beat real bad that first game. And now robbery time. Time to rob you in the corner. Whoa. The roll dodge was good. The armor was also good. Follow-up combo. Damn, his, his soul is getting robbed. He can't do anything. My guy. Robbery. Robbery fantasy. My favorite Final Fantasy VI character is Locke. And if you get that reference, you definitely are anime. It's still two out of three, Il Suni, so... Very important match here for Mike and I. He can actually close it out. That being said, real ice. Uh, health noodles. I'll be talking about the Jonas Brothers after this match, my friend. Hands off. Ooh. Oh, got the confirm. All right. Mike and I. Buttons. EXs. Swipes. Actually, real ice doesn't have a counter anymore because of that, but he escapes with the spear. Spear of Arvis. One, two, three, four. Got the follow up into the super. Actually, this is enough. All right. Mike and Dyke. Match point. Oh, Wumpus. Yo, Yob. That's cool, bro. I just mentioned it because he's a thief. He robs. That's his job. He claims he's a treasure hunter, but you know that's a lot. Anyway. Oh, great. That was a sick whip punish. Immediate sweep after the grab. I love it. Into more pressure. Real ice. He's trying to make this a quick round. Two, three. Guess right or die, my friend. Oh, uh, you guessed wrong. Damn, he didn't even let it finish. That that's unconfident punish. Real ice. One one. Do I think the next second character is gonna be Tifa? I don't know about that, Andreas. That's, I think that's more like wishful thinking. We already got Noctis. Ooh, man, that was a that was ballsy spot dodge. Mike and Ike, you're brave, my friend. Get off. Double unique, triple unique. Still found a confirm at the end of it. Empty low. Extension. The scaling's kicking in a little bit. Again, into the super. That's the, the real ice mix-ups. Once he gets them going with the jump unique, it's so disgusting. He destroys your defensive habits. Battle two, engage. 
Spear of Arbus. Again, this time soft knockdown with punish with the crotch medium. And again, we have the corner, real ice. Did he figure it out? Jump unique. I'm in. Yeah, Mike and Ike is, is that that corner probably looks so tasty right now. And he even went for the extension there on the records just to make sure he keeps the corner. Empty low and real ice gets out of there. Thank you, based parry for working sometimes. Not all the time. That was great. Nice arm. We're into the super, just getting the damage that he can get. We also got a nice hard knockdown and we're in range. Oh, he could have confirmed something huge there. Actually, Mike and Ike is still in this round. That's the crazy part. If he gets anything into EX Fireball right now, he's looking for... Oh, get off me. Chipping away, EX Fireball. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Death. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, Zero. There's a reason for that, my friend. Just give me a second. Anyway, good job to Real Ice. Well played, Real Ice. And uh, Mike and Ike actually honestly was looking super good in that set. So guys, before we continue on with the next one, uh, I do want to talk to you about this trailer from, from the Jonas Brothers. And this is for their newest show that's available on Amazon Prime. Anyway, give me just a second to load it up for you guys so that you can also see it before I talk about it without actually like loading it because that part matters. Okay, anyway, here we go, guys. Let's take a look. I'm actually mad curious about this myself. This is for their new show on Prime. I thought I was done with the Jonas Brothers. Anyway, the name of their show is called Happiness Continues, and it's available on Prime Video right now. Uh, it's got the Jonas Brothers all grown up, and it's the first time you'll see all three of them married, uh, and you get an inside look into their life, uh, relationships, dealing with their husbands, uh, excuse me, uh, d d dealing with their wives, uh, their families. Bro, the way they wrote it definitely threw me off. I'm, I'm so done. It's over for me. Uh, and we also see Sophie Turner and Priyanka Chopra Jonas also in the show. <laughs> it's, it's over, guys. That's it. Main 424, I, I have no idea. But thank you, Amazon Prime, and thank you, Prime Video. I actually love Prime Video. I use them all the time. I don't know that I'll be too excited for a show about the Jonas Brothers, but maybe you guys will like it and enjoy it. Anyway, make sure to check it out on Prime Video, and thank you to them, of course. So give me just a second to get everything set up for the stream title, fellas. I'm going to jump back into this. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have the next match momentarily, guys, or in just a little bit. This is week six of NOBC. And uh, it's been a lot of fun for me personally. I hope that you guys also enjoyed it. People Password says, I can't wait to go to their latest concert. All right. Well, cool. I, I Like I said, I know very little about it. I'm just going to write GB versus, exclamation point bracket, exclamation point prime, exclamation point Macharino. Support the Macharino, guys. Uh, it looks like Tempest is here and ready to go, so that's good. Come on, category. Why won't you let me change you back to what you belong? Thank you. <laughs> Did you see what no, I, I I was too focused on changing everything. I'm sorry about the the Freudian slip, by the way. That made that like way worse. It was supposed to be talking about the show and how they deal with their wives. Instead, I'm like, yeah, how they deal with their husbands. <laughs> it's just, did, 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 can they summon Yggdrasil? I don't know about that. Maybe they can. I have no idea. Like I said, I, I know very little about it. Is it is it a show about Jesus or something? Are they like are they like scripture singers? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know. I know nothing about them. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for all the matching support. Also, uh, we reached four hundred and twenty dollars and fifteen cents, guys. Thank you. Uh, anyway, we're going to have the winner's finals moment or, or shortly with Tempest. And, of course, Tempest's opponent is 
uh, the homie Omni, who's actually uh, just waiting to play out a couple matches in another tournament because there's so many tournaments all at the same time on weekends. Actually, it's pretty crazy and pretty godlike. You guys can still contribute. Use that promo code save NOBC17. You also check out all the sponsor quests in the sidebar, the G Fuel, the Twitter quest, the YouTube quest, the Click quest, and everything else. Thank you once again to our top donators, Villainy, with the $88.50. Rep me Rise. Well, Rise is still up in here. Nick Hugo, actually, he's top three. How about that? Guaranteed top three. Nick Hugo, thank you. TKO Mutt, thank you. Twin Blade, thank you, Audio Junkie. We do appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the support, everyone. How do I make this into a link? Because I actually want to see this. <laughs> Evo in VR? That would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie to you. They used to have the Evo like app that they would make. I don't know if they still do that, but I always thought that, that was cool. Evo's got their own app. Oh, shit. That's what I thought the first time that I tried it. I was just like, oh, that's tight. You can do that. Let's do it. Anyway, guys, so we're setting up for the next match. Uh, we do have another little poll. It's more like a poll from my curiosity for you guys, or just because I'm curious. And uh, and in this one, what we're wondering about is, what do you do? You guys think that Diva is gonna get nerfed? Oh, oh, four twenty sixty nine. We did it. Oh, so type one in the chat. If uh, if you think that, or if she's gonna get buffed, and type one in the chat if you think Ladiva will get a buff, and you can type two if you think that she's not gonna get buffed at all, and she's gonna stay exactly the same. So one or two. <laughs> yes, please nerf Ladiva. Thank you, Ert one ten. Thank you, Ert, my friend. I do appreciate your subscription. Oh, everybody thinks that Ladiva's gonna get buffed. All right. Mad votes. Okay. And again, thanks for all the d donations, guys. If you're wondering why we're waiting, we're just waiting for Omni, fellas. So we're really just waiting for Omni. Uh, and once he's ready to play, we're going to continue with the winner's final. And then we'll have winner's final, loser's final, grand finals. Should be very soon. I feel like something like this happened last week. With Dragon Ball and Double L. Yep. Yeah, you guys did it. Are you proud of yourselves, chat? Are you happy? Are you proud of yourselves for the nice round number? You even had 10 of clubs like telling me. She was like, yo, you got to look right now, Vic. It's the number. The number, though. The 42069. The number. <laughs> oh, Anyway, guys, you got a couple. Uh, one more minute. I'll give you one more minute to vote. One or two. One if you think Ladiva's going to get buffed. And two if you think that she's not going to get any buffs. And they're going to leave her alone in patch. 1.30 comes out in a few days. Okay. I see a lot of ones. I see some twos, though. Damn, actually, it's pretty close. Oh, not that close. It's 40, 42 for yes and uh, 27 for no right now. You're betting she gets nerfed instead? Cows? Damn, it's mad close. You guys, you guys are mad torn on on Ladiva. I like this. All right, so I think I'm gonna end it at this point. Looks like a good amount of you guys have voted, uh, and in the end, it looks like a lot of you guys thought that. That she she was gonna get buffed, but it was close, 58% versus 42%. So it's pretty even. Alright, we got one more. 
Uh, do you think Zoe will be low tier? And I, I only throw this out there because we had Narmaya who was only okay, and then we also had Suris. People joke all the time and they say Suris is, is low tier. That's one that I see a lot. She will be a god. All right, guys, so these are the options, okay? The options are one, two, or three for she will be a god. How does this look on the screen, by the way? Does it look cool? Can you read it, or is it too small? Should I make the text bigger the next time that I do these? Let me know. Give me all your feedback, fellas, while we wait and set up the next match. Zoe's going to break the game? <laughs> too small? Okay, let's see if I can change the font in the thing. Does it let me do that? Votes, unique votes, time active, contract, theme. Let's make it this. This is a little bigger, right? Not that much, but. No, not that one. This one. This one's bigger. I guess they don't have a huge one. Here comes Omni, by the way. So Omni's here. So this is your last chance to vote, guys. One, two, or three. One for yes. Uh, you think Zoe will be low tier. Two will be for no. And three will be. Three will be for the uh, body, basically. When is finals coming up, boys and girls? I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We're so sorry for the wait, everyone. But I hope that you'll find Sean it worth Lund the wait. Omni's Scythe up against Tempest. And I bet that Omni's warmed up because he just got through playing a bunch of matches. How about that? Good luck to both players tonight. We'll see what happens. And in the end, by the way, the final count for the poll, uh, no. I, you guys don't think she'll be low tier at all. You think that she'll be good. And in fact, a lot of people voted for she will be a god. So 70%, 70, 75% of you guys voted for no or that she will be a god, basically. You guys think that she's going to be great, which is awesome. All right, so here we go. Tempest player one, Omni's player two. We've seen these guys face off before. Usually Tempest gets the best of it. And that's probably because Temp Tempest is one of the hardest players I've ever seen to pin down who does not have... A, it's not like his character's like... He's not Matero with the jump unique. That's really mobile. He's, you know, he's not like Lancelot with his jump unique that puts him everywhere. But that being said, he's still so slippery and hard to really lock down. And that's one of his greatest superpowers. He also has extremely high clutch factor. His clutch factor is super good. He goes for the big boy combos. He goes for the big boy damage when he needs it. And uh, he takes risks when he needs to come back from behind. Super. Eat it. Hard knockdown. He's got a guess on the turbulence. Is he going to do it? Wow, he didn't do it. That's crazy. Omni did not turbulence, and Tempest just kept him locked down the corner. All right. Battle two. Engage. Damn, that was a godlike one. I'm actually amazed that Omni didn't press a button there. I definitely would have matched the job. What's up, Modem? Mm. Grabs. One, two, three. He tried to turn it into more of a mix-up, but Ami didn't bite. He just kept down backing, and he escaped with the wall jump. Oh, yeah, 56k, man. Let me tell you, the Lancelot army was only Omni this week, which is crazy. There was no Sartorius. There was no you. There was no Kevin Sparks. We definitely need that Lancelot army here to keep things in check. And speaking of keeping things in check, Tempest is looking to cash in on those Matcherino bucks that you guys have contributed. It's 1-0 for him. This is a 3 out of 5 set. Believe in victory. Battle 1. Engage. Need a Zoe army? I hope so. I, I'm, I'm really excited to try her, guys. Definitely look out for the Zoe stream day one. The minute that she comes out, you know me. I always try all the new characters. Honestly, I still like Jita. She's pretty awesome. But we'll see how I feel about Zoe when she comes out. My main is still Noeen, I guess, question mark. Who knows? Get off. Hey, uh. All right, great pressure strings for Omni. Changing up with the EX Firewall. Still, Tempest has the lead. And he's, ch man, that, those do a significant amount of chip. You can actually see, like, health draining off the light bar every time that he does the Blanca Ball. Ouch. 
Ouch, again. That, oh, that almost worked. Great uppercut, very smart. And it was just enough for the chip. Hell yeah, thank you, me. Yep, we had Sora tonight. We had some Grons. We had two Charlottas in top eight. We had Ed gone bad with Matera. Uh, what else did we have tonight? We have Real Ice with Zeta still in the tournament. It was actually a very good variety in top eight today. A good mix of like the middle tier-ish characters along with the top tier. And a no Catalina or Gron in top eight. Crazy. Super eat it. Thank you very much, Mace Hand. Thank you, Mace Hand. I appreciate your direct support this the tournament tonight, homie. And damn, I don't even know what to say right now. Tempest is kind of doing everything right. That was a good guess on the SPA by Omni. I actually kept him in the game, but he still needs more. And it's going to be hard to break that defense of Tempest. Wow. Okay. Nice grab. Tried to bait an uppercut there, I assume. But Tempest poked out and a nice delayed Blanca roll. Two. Zero right now for Tempest. And yeah, Leaf. Leaf for TV. Uh, Tempest is still the champ. And uh, he's looking to add another notch. Pick up some more Macharino bucks. See all the red on the armor? That's all the blood of his opponents. He hasn't even had the clutch factor in this set so far. He's kind of been good about staying ahead the whole time. He hasn't needed his huge skybound dark combos or anything. He's really just poked to death. A lot of EX slash combos. That's been his main source of damage. Turbulence. Okay, he escapes, but not not without not with a confirm, unfortunately. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. And then um, Tempest was ready to confirm. That sucks. Omni got clipped. Uh, Cookie Doe, I believe he's on three weeks straight right now. So this will be week number four. Uh, I think Leaf that uh, Loane is slated for another buff of some kind. I don't know what he'll get, but he'll get something. Hands all over into the ground. Oh, man, he finished it. That's how much he went out of that corner. He was like, please let this ground pond hit. Punish? He got it. One, two, three. He still has an uppercut available, though, so he's got to be careful. Oh, that's brutal. So much damage. He took, like, 45% for that. Into another mix. Tempest. Again, trick chipping over with the EX hands. That's going to work. Barely. If that, if, that had, if that had gone through the Super Skybounder, I think I would have cried. But instead... Omni still has a chance. He's in chip territory, though, so he's got to fear the uppercut. Yeah, I was going to say. Damn, the uppercut was just too strong. There was nothing he can do. I think he was just hoping to hit Tempest before he could use the uppercut in a way that was effective, but it just it didn't happen. Tempest, you need to be stopped. Is that what we need? We need the trunks to stop. You need to be stopped. Anyway, so Tempest makes it to the grand finals, uh, and Omni is going to have to try his luck in loser's final. Uh, which should be another tough match, actually. These two had a great set the last time that they played. It's Omni versus Real Ice. And uh, good luck to both. It looks like Omni will be on the player one side and Real Ice will be player two. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I hope that you guys are enjoying all the matches. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for me personally. And uh, I love seeing the level of play that what you guys can do. And you guys honestly make me feel like a scrub when I watch you guys play. You guys are actually really amazing. I'm just happy that I get to talk about all the beautiful things that you guys do, especially Tempest, man. Lately... Tempest and Fame, that duo, they've been really holding it down for the East Coast guys. Shouts to ATL also though, man, and shouts to Real Ice, Georgia area. Let's see what he's got for Omni. This will be a 3 out of 5 set. Four twenty one sixty nine now. I'm sorry guys, the magic number has been broken, but we do appreciate all your contributions, guys. How hard is Grand going to get nerfed, Robo Piggy? So we've talked about this a lot today on the stream. And uh, my opinion is that close medium of Grand and Catalina, in my opinion, those moves will end up with the same frame data as close medium of Jita, which will still be a plus frame move uh, and still a good move, but you won't be able to do uh, stand medium, stand medium on normal hit. 
uh, you'll need a counter hit or something like that or you'll need like stand jab into stand medium or other things uh, lonely so Texas can enter the Street Fighter event I don't oh no not yet I'm sorry lonely never mind I lied to you no Texas I'm sorry internet it's a series of tubes does the lobby like die you were a lobby dead lobby destroyed broken game broken Okay, I got you. That's what it is. Okay, cool. I thought that they... Usually when you see this icon, the one that they have on screen right now, the boost one, usually that means that he's queued up already. So I thought that the match just wasn't initializing. But all right, we're just giving the homie Omni a second. And uh, once he returns, we're going to keep going. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little 895 while we wait. I hope that you guys don't mind. And uh, Omni should be here uh, momentarily, guys. Uh, yeah, we did have a Soros, uh Johnster Hunter, in fact, who got fifth. Even shouts to Diaphone who got fifth place tonight. And he definitely showed us some new stuff with Soros that I've not seen before. His rush punches were super good. And uh, he also had stuff like he would do the, uh, not the rush punch. Man, I, I got to learn the name of the news because he has the rush punch. And he also has a multi-hit rush punch, right? So he has two different rush punches. Uh, anyway, he, he had lots of combos down off of the multi-hit rush punches as well. Yep, anyway, we're about to start, guys. Sorry to anybody that's still seeing a Twitch ad because Spooky can't predict when people will return. I just have to mash ads because somehow Team Spooky has to make money so we can keep doing tournaments. Woo! I do love you guys, though, seriously. And let's jump into this match and enjoy Omni versus Real Ice. Let's do it. People are excited for the homie Real Ice already. I see you guys. I, I'm excited for both, to be honest. I, I like seeing what both these players can do. Uh, Omni really do, makes... Lancelot looks so cheap, which I love. He just makes him look like ridiculous. He's flying all over the screen. He's got uh, mix-ups that you can't block with a block button sometimes. Let's go. A real Ice is from uh, Atlanta, excuse me, from Georgia area, I believe. Thank you, Adamantium. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you also, Quotes, The Idol Master, Tabasu, Jubei, Ed Gone Bad, Little Creepy Sleepy, everyone else up in here. Shouts to Ed Gone Bad, who also got fifth place tonight with his great Matera. All right, let's see what Ami can do with this lead. He's got the corner. Ro Ice does have a counter available. He didn't cash. He did cash it out. Ooh, and it got him a hit. Okay. Turbulence. Got him a hit, but not enough for a solid confirm. Mm. Nice cross up. Very good. I like that interaction there where Omni was winged to anti arrow, but he backed out. And that's because Zeta actually has multiple jump angles because she has the jump heavy, but then she also has the Spear of Arvis. Uh, and you have to be aware about the range that you're at because sometimes you can anti air one and not the other. Omni looking great in the corner right now. So much throw pressure and fake throws. Got like one hit record confirmed. That's how you get the huge damage. Nice, great throw. I think that real ice was kind of checkmated there. Tried to get a follow up. Unfortunately, it didn't work and real ice gets away. Give me my mid screen. I need the space, bro. Damn, that wall jump is so good. How did he dodge the stand heavy like that? I don't think it's enough. Real Ice gets to keep playing. Actually, Real Ice can come back right now with Super Sky Bondar. Beautiful. I think that Real Ice just was trying to avoid the chip out, but Omni was not hearing that. As soon as he saw him blocking a fireball, that forward, forward heavy was stocked up. Engage. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know how to feel about Strive, guys. How do you guys feel about Strive? I put some videos for you guys on YouTube of it. I showed you some of the net play. To me, it like shrug. I guess I'll play it. Looks all right. I didn't really have a problem with Rev 2. I'm not going to lie to you. Rev 2 was already kind of fun. Cool. Well, I see your responses, chat. I see a lot, of, a lot of negative response, which I understand. 
All right, and again, Ami looking very good uh, early here in this set. Damn, he's all over the place. That was a crazy sequence. He went for 6-6 heavy into turbulent jump heavy and just kept the pressure going. Really long sequence. Uh, Mr. Archer, maybe I'm not even trying to make it about our preference or one's the other. I just want to know how people feel about it. I really hate the lobbies. That's my biggest beef. The gameplay itself was fun as hell, though. I did enjoy playing as Kai. Damn. Empty low by Real Ice into the big boy combo. He actually can go to Super Sky Bondar, and he does. This should be enough. Oh, he went for regular. Oh, sorry, he didn't have Super Sky Bondar. That was a sick punish, by the way. Hey, so can you guys teach me something? How do you do straight up spear like that? Like what he just did. Is that a move? Because he has air spear, right? But I think that goes straight down down forward always. Oh, so 2-2-M is the up spear. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, guys. I was like, man, how do you, how do, you do a straight up like that? One, two, three. Into the follow-up. Oh, multiple follow-ups. Oh, was he trying to turn that into a reset? That was kind of tricky. Oh, that was also tricky. Good luck blocking. Nice mash. And Rise closes game number two. Man, it's hard for me to talk about this match from like an analytical standpoint, right? Because these two, we've seen them so much and we really know what they can do. But as far as like a, a, a ham standpoint, man, these guys are crushing each other right now. Real ice, early corner, pressure time, escaping the wall jump and keeping the corner. Damn, that almost was a combo. But Omni Sype escapes. Really important to get out of that corner without taking too much damage. And he managed it pretty well. He's very close to building his Skybound Dart. Damn, early break. Real ice. Beautiful slide. Omni. One, two, three. Corner time. He waited for that. He knew that Real Ice would jump out in some way, but he still was not able to commit to a crouch heavy or anything. Whoa, that was that was nuts. If you're talking about the pogo of Zeta, the jump unique, once she makes you block the jump unique, she's plus. Uh, but the mix-ups after are not necessarily guaranteed, uh, depending on what she does. Uh, Omni might be able to turbulence to get away or even press like a stand jab or a stand medium. So it really depends on the options that she chooses. That being said, uh, generally you want to respect the jump unique because otherwise the damage that Real Ice can get is uh, very exceptional from that starter. That was a sick heavy. That was also a sick vertical spear. So in the air, if you want the vertical down spear, is that also 2-2-M two, two in the air? Is that how you get that input? That's definitely tech that I don't see a lot. That's good. Yep. You cannot air block that, my friend. Ice magic. He's a water type. 2-1 Omni. Alright, we'll see how real ice will adjust. Yeah, the Super Skybound Dart uh, Ray Popsicles of Lancelot is extremely strong. Uh, Damage-wise, it's on the lower end of Super Skybound Darts, but it's air unblockable. Uh, it's generally safe on block. Uh, spot Dodge doesn't even give you a real punish. And even as gimmicks, he can do it, make you block it, and then do turbulence after. And if you press a button, let's say you press like a medium or something, the turbulence often will punish you for pressing a button there. Oh, that was sick. He faked the throw. Give that opt optimal starter for Zeta. Look at the damage. Bro. 
Again, that stuff. Get him out of here. Hmm. That was actually ridiculous by Real Ice. Arvis. You know one thing I really love about this game? Why does everyone have like a, a mythical weapon? Like she has the Spear of Arvis that's so cool. Uh, Landslide's Daggers, I know they have a name, I've just forgotten because it's been a while. Catalina has the special Water Sword. Percival, his sword is dope. Damn, oh he tried, that would've been sick. He just so, showed me a new route. Damn, straight to the Super Sky Bondar. Let's get as much damage as we can get. Wow, he went for it. And it was it worked. That's so crazy. Real ice. He just didn't want to block anymore. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> All right. Damn, we're not leaving the stage, huh, guys? Everybody loves the new stage tonight. Scoops. Another. We're fighting for the forest, guys, right now. Arvis, the anti air, he was ready. No, you can't get away with that on me, my friend. You better do it right. Mix. Damn. He waited for something that never came from Real Ice. Real Ice just mashed the jab immediately. That's something that he's a master of, is the jab mash on Wake Up. Watch your feet. I get three of these, just like Ron. Anti air again. Man, he did the dash up, Crouch Heavy. That was confidence. So now it's match point, Omni. Battle two, engage. One, two, nice, man, the early armor, real ice. He didn't want to deal with any mix. Empty, grab. He faked that last time with the overhead, so I'm not surprised that Omni is not trying to tech throw. Out of there with the turbulence. Barely, though, he barely escaped with his life. Oh, he, he might not have escaped with his life, never mind. Empty, low, good blocks, out of there with the wall jump. No, we wait for those. Good blocks. Chain reset into grab. Plus. That was good. And Real Ice gets back to neutral. He didn't take too much damage there. Omni. He needs to hit this SSBA. I think if he hits that, he has a chance here. He's thinking about how to do it. Oh, he got it. All right, just like that. Now it's a match. Listen to this song, guys. That means guess right or die. Oh, that was scary. Omni thought that it was going to come out, so he tried to dodge to get through it. Real Ice actually got hit straight up. Oh, the throw was too fast. Guess time. Out of there with the turbulence. Got the hit, but not a confirm. Out of there with the counter. Wow, Omni, you're actually a god. That scramble was actually insanity. <laughs> I bet I bet Real Ice was like, that's the last thing that I expected to happen to me. He was just like, okay, I think I'm okay if I jump here. No, I don't think so. And Omni came out from out of nowhere. He just with the ice stab. Damn, good shit, Omni. All right. Well, you definitely earned your way back into the grand finals, my friend. Uh, anyway, guys, props to Real Ice, guys. Let's all give him a hand in the chat for getting third place tonight because uh, he played exceptionally once again. Uh, really showing us the power of Zeta, especially with all the 1.21 buffs. And uh, thanks to you, he will receive a nice piece of these Matcharino bucks that you guys all donated tonight, whether you used those free coupon codes or whether you donated directly. Anyway, before this grand final, guys, it will actually be your last chance or one of your last chances to donate and help us out. Uh, if you have not used the free code yet, just use that code SAVENOBC17, guys, to contribute to all the top three. Say what? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. We can start, bro. Yep. So Omni's going to be coming from Losers, and Tempest is going to be coming from Winterside. Good old Tempest NYC. So how many subs did we end at today? Did we make it to the, the Fabled? 1194. Come on, guys. If you guys love me, and I know you guys love me because I love you guys. Come on, fellas. We need six more subs to get to 1,200. Ah, it's so close. 
And once again, guys, if you've been enjoying the stream tonight while we get ready for this grand final, please, please, I implore you to please consider subscribing to us here at Team Spooky. Thank you, Ed Gone Bad. Oh, thanks, bro. Thank you, Gino9 as well. Thank you both for the subs, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot for all the support, everybody. And once again, thanks to all the players that entered the tournament tonight. Uh, you guys, all you guys that paid your $5 house fee today all contributed your $5 directly to Henry Sen and Next Level. So thank you to that. Uh, thank you for that. It's thanks to you guys. And hopefully Henry will be all set up and be ready to go as soon as that we're back. Or as soon as you are back from this madness. I don't know how long it's going to take because nobody really knows. Thank you, Cable. Cable Part. Thank you for your subscription, my friend. And thank you also, Tarenticus, for the three Aeons. And thank you also, Defeatly. Yo, the train, Defeatly. Thank you, CG Inferno Blast as well. Thank you all, guys. Thank you, Yaskus, as well for the sub. Woo! Damn, that train is actually OD. Yo, the, the level one hype train went out like that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ciro V2 as well. We appreciate you. And uh, yeah, let's get this grand final started. So player one side is Omni's Sight. Thank you, Zero V2. Appreciate the sub train, everybody. Omni player one. Tempest player two. Tempest coming from the winner's side. Thank you, Mega Deuce, as well, my friend. Thank you for your sub. Welcome, guys. Honky Vampy. Woo! Honky Vampy, thank you. We did it. Damn, I even see the confetti in the chat. Thank you, Karate Moses. Oh, Omni. What a done. Damn, that's a kill. Bro, that was actually a good amount of damage off the overhead. Get him out of here. Cry Scion. Thank you, Cry Scion, for your subscription as well. Damn, we made it all the way to level two. That was quick. That was the fastest level two ever. New Boomy. Thank you. Thank you, New Boomy. Thank you for your two Aeons, my friend, and welcome. Get off my onions. Are they going to make me cry? Get off my onions. Thank you, get off my onions. Thanks for your subscription, my friend. Damn, they're, they're mauling each other right now. Tempest trying to keep... Wow, Omni with the wall jump immediately. That's just that's just the god tier escape, huh? Like, screw jumping out of the corner and just wall jump. His wall jump is so good. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. We did it. Woo! Damn, and speaking of we did it, Tempest... All right, round number three, guys. Thank you for the 1,201 subscribers, everybody. Hell yeah, thank you. Oh, ho, ho, the counter. I like that he also went for the demon flip immediately so that he would be the one to control the corner. That's a punish. Crouch medium or oh, stand medium, even. I think he was trying for the, the, the forward forward medium or forward forward heavy there. I'm not sure. Cross up. Nice block. Damn, blocked the whole string. And actually, Tempest still has a life lead after that. Damn, I can't believe this is still the first game. This is crazy. Grab again. Can he get away? He does with the turbulence. Waited for an upper. Whoa, the trade. That trade was ridiculous. I don't think that Omni feels good after that trade. That definitely hurt. And a nice grab by Tempest to close it out. All right, Tempest makes it 1-0 in his favor. He only needs two more to take the whole shebang. All the 421 matching no bucks. All the half goes to next level. Haha. -ha. But he gets a nice, beautiful piece. 425 and 69 now, thanks to all of you. 1-2. Adamantium, yeah, you know, to be honest, I've been trying to tell people for a long time how this character is extremely strong. Uh... And how, like, you know, the charge character playstyle, it can actually be really great in this game. Uh, but it's really taken, like, Tempest and a couple others uh, to show us uh, really the ultimate level of that. Damn, that was so much damage. Omni more than evened it up. That's going to hit. It's going to hit. Woo! Headless. <laughs> He's a headless Lancelot. He's definitely headless. Get him out of here. <laughs> He did that so quick that Lancelot wasn't even done teleporting yet. He, he was still invisible. It's crazy. Thank you also, Bento Boy. Thank you, Bento Boy, for your subscription, my friend. And thank you for joining us tonight. Why even try to reset Charlotta? Because you got to damage her somehow. I don't know. Otherwise, he's just going to always down back. 
Uh, I'm on. Okay, he's out of there. He didn't have the uh, the life for Super Sky Bondar, so I'm not surprised that he did not choose to cash out there. What man? He's he's using that guard button like a madman. He's making sure he gets those blocks. You're not gonna trick me with any of your oh gimmicks, gimmicks. Let's go. Damn, actually, that, that might have stolen him the round there just now. We'll see. Tempest is trying to find a way to get close. Beautiful. All right, round three. Damn, those roses look so beautiful. I'm not even into flowers like that, but the smell of a rose. You guys know what I'm talking about? Roses always smell nice. Damn, off a counter hit? If he was closer, he could have comboed from that, actually. Jump heavy. Into comp. One, two, three. He didn't offer the 67. He tried to turn it into a reset. Okay, Omni, I see you. You're trying to be slippery, huh? All right. No, 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 no. Did he, did he even want that? I don't know. I'm not confused. That might have been a, a, a reverse 6-6 six, six heavy that turned into a Skybound dart. I'll never know. Thank you guys for that hype train. And thank you also, Tempest. Game number two, looking extremely strong. And it's not that Omni has not been making these matches close. It's just that when it, when it comes down to round three and it's time to close out, it's been Tempest's turn. Nice. Man, the stand jab into the X, that's crazy. Wow. I'll just keep trying to grab. I know you're not going to trade for this. Oh, no. Omni. What are you going to do, bro? Your defense is not working, my guy. Do you, do you need some assistance, homie? Damn. Is he? Is his controller still plugged in? Okay, he's blocking. So the controller is still plugged in. That's a start. Can we get out of this corner? That would be another start. Nope. Golden letters. Damn. And Tempest one round away. I, I, I almost feel bad because the choo-choo, when I type this in the chat, it makes me think that it's the, the train getting run on Omni, but no, it's actually supposed to be talking about you guys all subscribing. Thank you. Those letters will go, oh, my turn. You want you want to see big boy damage? Look at my damage, my friend. That, that was like 40%. Damn. He waited for an uppercut that never came, but a great jump back to keep the corner. <laughs> I'll do it again. I don't care. That, that looked like it was going to cross up, but it did not. This is still going to hurt, even though it's some photo combo. You know, it's going to hurt when the music starts playing. Look at the last hit, guys. Watch this. Damn, that was like 25% health just for the one hit. Damn, Tempest has the lead. Just like that. No, not like this. Omni, you got to escape. Okay, he got the combo into the Super Sky Bond. That should be enough. That was, that was scary. Okay, round number three once again. The roses are out. I see some crystals there on the left side of the screen. Who sees that? Is that like currency? Do I need that so I can power up my characters? Let me know. Anyway. Oh, no. Don't whip your grabs, Omni. Damn. Neutral game. And Tempest is playing really safe during the neutral game. His main weapon of approach has been the, the roll. Okay, Omni, can we can we navigate these uppercuts? We're trying. Whoa. Actually, it's not going to hurt that much. That could have been worse. Overhead. Well, he was looking for a grab, but Tempest did not go for it. Man, if he had got the grab there, that would have been a steal. No counter hit. That was godlike. No, it didn't combo, man. Omni, that was... The clutch attempt was so strong. Now he's got to guess. Air throw. Tempest. Oh, he blocked it. No, he missed the punish. I don't even know. Was that the the, 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 the medium one, the safe one or whatever? I'm not even sure. I just saw a two-part uppercut. It was hard to tell. Fuck. Bro, that combo attempt. Come on, guys. Tell me that combo that Omni tried to do was not ridiculous. He tried to do non-counter hit into the super. Bro.
Damn. All right. Well, good job to, to Tempest, by the way, closing it out in straight games. So Tempest wins three. Omni, bro, that was tight, Omni, what you tried to do there, man. I'm sure that you're disappointed because I know how it is to get 3-0 and be like, man, I wanted to do more, but fuck that comp. If that had a hit, bro, I think I would have flipped something. I think I did flip something already. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. So anyway, guys, we got Tempest winning it once again. He's standing tall. Tall Harvins. Meanwhile, Manchester's like laid out. He's like, yeah, I've seen this happen before. Leave me alone. Oh, is that the, 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 the aftermath? Is Tempest standing on the box and... Gibby is just laid out on the floor. <laughs> high chair. Thank you, high chair, for your 10 aeons, my friend. 10 aeons of support of Team Spooky tonight. I do appreciate it. Anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, that entered today. I hope that you guys all had a good time. Uh, let's talk about the top entrance once again and what happened and, you know, the aftermath and the result. Uh, so, first place tonight was Tempest. Uh, did he even drop a game? The whole tournament? Did you not did you not lose a game the whole tournament, Tempest? Jesus Christ. Well, apparently he did not lose a game the entire tournament. He's just that good. Damn. Not even winners finals? D did Omni get one in winners finals? Wow. You won the whole tournament without losing a game, Tempest. That's pretty godly, man. I don't even know what to say about that. Well, Tempest, ladies and gentlemen, his Charlotta is is I think pretty much perfect as far as what you want to do as a Charlotta player. Uh he's well rounded, he's got offense, he's got defense, he's got clutch factor. Uh, he breaks throws. He's got like weird tech setups with the empty Blanca rolls and stuff like that. His jumps are amazing. Uh, basically doing everything that you want to be doing as a Charlotte player. Uh, second place was Omni Sight. Uh, really clutch with his Lancelot. Uh, some setups that I saw there that looked like even the guard button would not be too excellent at saving you because you'd probably get like accidental spot dodges and weird things you don't want just trying to get away from his pressure. Some damn near unblockable offense. And also really clutch comeback factor. Uh, the last game against Real Ice at the end with the 6-6 the, the six, six heavy from downtown to get him from the mid screen. That was amazing. Really clutch. And props to Omni tonight on the second place. Uh, enjoy those match arena bucks, my friend, and I hope to see you at the next one. Uh, third place was Real Ice. Uh, the amazing Zeta, guys. Really, his Zeta is off the chain. Uh, and the, the same deal, if you're looking to learn about Zeta, you need to watch Real Ice real close. Uh, his combos are great. Uh, what I especially like about his combo potential is that it's not always about the damage for him. Like, he'll cash out even if he has, like, an auto combo, right? He'll cash out on that if he has you in a corner. But uh, his special move awareness is very good. Uh, Zed is the type of character where uh, once you've used up the EX Fireball or the, the Down Down Heavy, the, the Upward Spear of Arvis, once you've used those up in the corner, uh, it can be difficult to get extended combos without those two moves. But we find that uh, Real Ice has things like he'll, do, he'll go for Jump Unique, Jump Unique, Heavy into Super, and he'll get a combo that way. Or uh, he'll find smaller combos and he'll find a way to, you know, kill enough time to get back the special moves that he needs to keep it going. Also, neutral game, really ridiculous by Real Ice tonight. Props to him. Uh, fourth place was Mike and Ike. Good job with the Jita, homie. Uh, in fact, we had two great Jita players tonight. Uh, we had Mike and Ike, and then we also had the homie. I know he goes by Oki normally, Naji, or he goes by Naji Lady. I know him as Oki as well. Uh, and both players, Mike and Ike and Najee, were showing us a lot of great Jita tech today. Uh, Mike and Ike, I think his neutral overall was really strong tonight, and that's what helped him the most. Uh, and he kept it really simple. When he got you to the corner, he he wasn't, like, going out of his way to try to, like, you know, be all fancy. You know, it was just more a matter of, okay, I'm going to do my pressure strings, and if you get hit by them like an idiot, then I'm going to kill you and win. And that's pretty much how he played out the whole tournament. And it went really well for him. Uh, so props, Mike and Ike, and I hope to see you next week. Fifth place was Ed Gone Bad and Diaphone. Uh, Ed Gone Bad. Uh, props again on the Matera, bro. Keep it up. I'm sure that you'll be back. Thanks also for the subscription tonight and also for supporting Next Level directly. Uh, your neutral game is really strong, bro. I'm sure that once you once you master more corner game and more escapes and more, you know, being slippery, I think that those are the main things that will help you up your game at this point. Uh, Diaphone. I don't even know what to say about Diaphone because he plays so many different characters. Right now, he's on Soros. Uh, but his Soros Nodge was really top-notch. In fact, he defeated a couple of really strong ground players tonight, including Kylo uh, and who was the other homie that was really strong? Infinity. He beat both of them uh, with the Soros tonight. So props to you, Diaphone, uh, and well played on that. Uh, seventh place, we also had Griff Griffy Bones with his Charlotta, and we had Kilo with Gron, and props to both of them. Uh, Griffy Bones, another solid Charlotta player. Uh, you can even make some comparisons to Tempest. In fact, a lot of the time when he ends up in loser's bracket, it's only because he actually loses to uh, one of the other gods of the tournament. And again, a, a great top eight for him again tonight. All right, guys. I guess that's it for the tournament. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm not actually sure what I want to do next. Unfortunately, the, 